Solana. <laughs> a new study finds that ensuring heart attack patients are promptly diagnosed and treated for diabetes makes a significant difference in preventing future heart problems. Viet Lee, a physician assistant with Intermountain Medical Center, joins us now to explain the study. So when we hear about diabetes, we know there's type 1, there's type 2. What's the effect on someone's body? Yeah, so, uh, you know, diabetes is an issue of dysfunction of insulin and our ability to transfer glucose or sugars into our cells. Um, and over time, that can affect your heart, your kidneys, your eyes, multiple different organs. We mm -hmm. were discussing earlier about uh, potentially amputations that can yeah. occur also with this. So the side effects can really be gruesome, painful. A lot of people will suffer from that, even deadly. What's the link between diabetes and heart attacks? Yeah, so we've known, and, and it's been in the guidelines, that diabetes is, is considered a coronary equivalent. Um, the issue, though, is that people still come in to the hospital with a heart attack and uh, they can come in with not a previous diagnosis of diabetes, mm -hmm. it's prudent for us as, uh, as providers to go ahead and diagnose that. It improves their outcomes uh, afterwards, okay. even after a heart attack. If you can identify that diabetes, then their, their outcome is much better afterwards. So uh, there's a lot going on when you arrive to the hospital and you think you're having a <laughs> heart right. attack, but that is something that maybe a caretaker or a loved one who's with you needs to tell the doctors about if they don't already know. Yeah, no, I think it's important. As providers, it's nice if we have protocols in place, we standardize these testing, uh, this testing uh, yeah. for diabetes. But, but if families can also be a, an extra ear, an extra mouth, a voice for that patient, uh, that would be wonderful. Where did, who do we test in this study? So how do we know this link? Is it with men, women, what age group? No, that's a great question. For our study, we looked at all of those that came in for heart attack. And so uh, typically, uh, these were 30 years and older, uh, and it was both men and women. Uh, yeah. We did not see a difference in our study in regards to gender uh, and whether it was worse or not or whether diabetes affected heart disease uh, more uh, in one gender or the other. Okay, so it's not discriminating. Everyone exactly. is, is, can suffer from this and can have that connection. What are the symptoms? Can people point out um, things that are going wrong and say, okay, this may be an issue? Are there warning signs? Yeah, so uh, if you're looking at heart disease, certainly the usual chest pain, uh, shortness of breath with exertion. But for diabetes, uh, often we talk about uh, increased thirst, increased mm -hmm. urination, uh, feeling fatigued. These are things that if you're going to a primary care provider on a regular basis, they know those screenings. Mm -hmm. And uh, I, I would say that everyone should follow their, their regular uh, health screening. And, and it should be caught by that uh, provider. So if mom and dad have diabetes, is it likely there's a genetic link there that the kids need to, you need to have a conversation with their children about this as well? Yeah, so certainly there is a genetic link. I don't know that, uh, you know, you, you're 100% likely to have diabetes <laughs> if your parents have it. Right. But I think uh, it, it sh certainly should throw a red flag for you that I need to be a little bit more careful with my lifestyle and look at my diet, make sure that I am physically active. So yeah, I, I think it, it should be on your radar if you're, you have a parent or a sibling that has diabetes. And especially now during the holidays with all of the eating and all the sweets and desserts <laughs> that are out there. Viet Lee with Intermountain Medical Center, thanks for joining us. Thank you.